ほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほうほ This is my RC boat. Let's unpackage this. Just a recommendation before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe and to check out some of my other videos. And this is also my first face reveal video. So, again, forgive me for being a little scruffy, haven't shaved, and I look like crap because, well, I just got off work and quickly ran around. And yeah, don't mind, uh, don't mind any of like the weird stuff. And I'm gonna try and make this video very efficient because I've never done a opening video or unboxing. Okay, so getting into the detail about this. Now, I ordered this from Amazon. It's a RC battleship that you can, well, of course, sail on actual water. Lakes, rivers, all that fun jazz. Now, the price I paid, Unfortunately, I ordered one from China and they turned around and said they couldn't send it. Here, let's see if I can make this a little easier. Let's see. Hello! There's my garbage bag there. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. 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 My exacto knife. Slice and dice. Hello. Radio control. Simulation light. Battleship 1360 radio control model series. Yeah. The one from China that I got, it routed up to exactly 190, but they couldn't ship it because the lockdowns that were happening. Mind you, apparently, apparently they still say that one's coming, so I have no idea if that one will actually show up at any point. If it does, I will at least message them saying, hey, I got the boat, thank you, you already gave me my refund though, so, but if it does show up, then I have two boats. That'd be cool. Oh, it comes with a handle for the case. Let's do this. Let's open this bad boy. Now, just showing this little boat, this toy boat is $1.99 and then maybe uh, two bucks for the pack of batteries. Now, essentially, you just hit the switch, hit the propeller, and I have a little video that'll show this little boat going. Cue that up. Now, you saw that video, compare it to what is essentially the German Bismarck of RC boats. Or, actually it kind of does look like a Bismarck, but... Uh, let's get this thing open. So let's see first. Oh, it is designed according to the Bismarck. Oh, wow. I... Battleship is a large armored warship with a main battery consisting of heavy caliber guns. During the late 19th and earliest 20th centuries, the battleship was the most powerful type of warship afloat. <laughs> and a fleet of battleships was vital for any nation which desired to maintain command of the sea. Yeah, when you, I think of battleships, it's definitely uh, things like the Amato, Sean Host, anything that's like the Axis related. I mean, the Americans, they had sweet battleships. By the way, there's my RC Boeing. It actually flies really well. Okay. 
I should probably write a review about that plane. Oh, let's see. Let's read the card. Please stop charging when the USB charger LED is light off. Keep charging when LED turn. Okay, yeah, so all that stuff. That's all the disclaimer. Happy stuff. Air bleed hole must be sealed when playing. Pull it out and pour out the water after playing to avoid rust corroded inside. So that's kind of their, it's kind of like their way of saying as you're sailing it, water, oh, water will uh, get inside of it a little bit. Unfortunately, that's because, well, the way ceilings and watertight sealness works. Oh my God, this thing is gorgeous. It is the design of the Bismarck. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, okay. I need to like carefully take this out of the box and stuff. So yeah, give me a second. <laughs> it's so glorious. Just the sight of it all. Wait, why is the gun backwards? You see that? The gun is stuck backwards inside itself. What the hell? Maybe I can fix it. Not how I wanted to, but, well, oh, well, at least it's on the right side. That's all that matters. That was weird. Okay, so we have our remote control with what looks like regular steering. Uh, I wonder what these are. These look like extra pieces or masts, mast bits. And then we have ah, the thing to make the stand. Good, good. All right, so we got it all set up. Got the tiny little piece, tiny little piece, and then the tiny little piece there. And this thing is beautiful. Definitely has the that signature Bismarck look to it. The whole main command area. Then you got your bridge, all your little flak. Of course, there's flak guns everywhere. All you can see are flak guns. This one can here has got a little bit of a issue though, unfortunately. That's because I had to fix it. The other cannon's okay at least, but look at this thing. Not bad for size. Yeah, pretty menacing. It's got a little little light there apparently, and this here's got your bleed hole. Boop. Oh, okay. The whole thing, yeah, it's not supposed to come out. It's literally just held on by a little rope. You have to pull that, empty it out every so often. Because I think, yep, see uh, if I think so. Tiny, tiny, tiny micro, micro layer bits of water can lightly get in. Or even if you're out in a hu very humid day, it just, the condensation starts to build. Because again, it's, well, electronics. Never leave this outside though. I saw... I've, there was a mention of someone who had apparently water leaked all inside of it. Yeah, it was very clear that you did not empty it and rinse it the way you were supposed to. You probably just played with it and then left it outside. And that's unfortunately your own doing. Me, I like to take care of stuff. Oh, this thing is just so nice. Now... Do I want to put it in water now or later? It'll probably be a separate video because this is just an unboxing for, well, again, I wanted to try unboxing. And as I said, it was an unboxing. It was a very poor unboxing, but yeah, there we go. Now we're properly, properly the right way around. So just for quick reference, when you go to open it up, you got this little compartment here that shows, and you just gotta really unhinge and unhinge, and you take it all apart. So yeah, so essentially, I don't think any of those guns are remote control. Oh God, no, they wouldn't be. Uh, maybe that one, and maybe this back one. Hard to tell, uh, but uh, yeah, no, you just essentially charge your battery, and you put it in. And once it's fully charged, you can sail. And again, it will only spin up if it's in the water. But yeah. That is my battleship. Look at that. That tiny little little boat. Compared to this freaking battleship. Just, oh, it's a tiny little boat. 
versus that battleship, you're so gonna get wrecked. Huh? Yeah, what do you think? Let, let me know in the comments down below. This is essentially a $200 RC battleship. And I got the controller here. And now it has sensors, so you can't just like turn it on and the propeller spin. You have to actually have it in water. It's probably where it leaks. I'm gonna find this. I wonder if that's actually part of the sensor piece right there. Either way, when I go to make a video of this thing sailing, I hope you will be subscribed and I look forward to seeing you again. As always, stay safe and stay happy.